Hello, and welcome to another episode of Brecktast Comic Book Talk. I'm really doing this because I haven't done a comic book talk video in a while, so the content of this video is probably going to be what kinds of comics and trades I've gotten recently, and my thoughts on the series I've been reading and that are on my poll and stuff like that. So the only books on my poll that is actually generating books is Avengers Volume 8, the current Transformers series, as well as Transformers Galaxies. Last time I went to my local comic book shop to get my poll for the month, I had Avengers issues 28 and 29, as well as Transformers issues 15. Issue 15. First, I want to talk about the current Avengers series, because I am seriously considering taking it off my poll, because the last five to six issues have just been really boring to me. Really not into the world of Avengers outside of like the MCU, so I'm not familiar with all their major and minor villains or the lesser known heroes that are a part of the team. A few issues ago they did a whole arc on uh, Ghost Rider and I just could not get myself to care because I'm not that into Ghost Rider. Marvel has just been really lacking to me on the comic book front. The stories are getting more and more boring and the one thing I'm really not a fan of with Marvel's comics is that they have really dumb ad pages in the middle of the book. I suppose I'm just used to IDW that puts any ads at the end of like the story, after all the story pages, or independent publishers like Image that they don't have, you know, product ads in their books, but they just put like advertisements for other image comic book series which is something that you know idw does is they advertise their own um comics i'm sure that there are folks out there that like all or a lot of whatever marvel is putting out but i don't see it they ruined iron man to me and are getting boring with the avengers also to me and i'm just close to dumping any new Marvel titles. On the other side of things, IDW's current Transformers and Transformers Galaxies are great. I seriously have nothing but good things to say about these series, and I don't actually have much more to say about them. Just read them and you will not regret it. So what new comics have I recently finished reading? Aside from those two Avengers comics and Transformers comics, I have a few trades that I have finished reading. I've been on a, a bit of a Star Wars kick, so the first trade I'd finished reading was the Star Wars Mace Windu trade. I love Mace Windu. He's my favorite Jedi, so this miniseries was a must-read for me, and I recommend it. The other trade that I had finished reading is the Star Wars Darth Maul trade. Darth Maul is my favorite Sith character, so it was another must-read for me. I am currently reading Star Wars Darth Maul Son of Dathomir trade, because again, it's about Darth Maul. I gotta read it. Uh, what is on my read pile after I am done with what I am currently reading? Well, I have a stack of trades that slowly getting smaller. So up next will be the Oblivion Song Volume 3. It's a really interesting and great series that I highly recommend giving a read. After that, I go back to some trades that have been on my stack since I don't remember when last year. That is the first six trades of More Than Meets the Eyes. Ugh, Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye. I've heard nothing but great things about the series, so I'm excited to get started reading the series. Last thing on my read stack was a recent purchase from a bit after Christmas, which is Monstrous Book One. It is a large hardcover book that is about the size and weight of a textbook. It covers issues 1 through 18 of the Image comic series Monstrous. I saw it when I was at Barnes & Noble and the art looked cool so I picked it up hoping the story is as good as the art. Plus it's an Image comic series so I have no doubt the writing will be amazing. Finally, I want to end this with what I want to get to read next. The first thing I need to get is the fourth volume trade of Monstrous that covers issues 19 through 24. 
That way I'm all caught up on that until the next trade come out. I also need to pre-order the fourth volume of Oblivion Song in trade paperback. That way I stay caught up with that as well. The biggest thing though that I need is to get the final four trades of Transformers Robots in Disguise and the final four trades of Transformers Mother Meets the Eye. Because it's taking me so long to actually get around to them, it's just taking me forever to finish them as well. After that, I want to get the four trades of Transformers Lost Light, which is the series that comes after More Than Meets the Eye. Sounds like a good series. Staying with IDW, I eventually want to get into their series Lock and Key. This stem pr stems from seeing that it's going to be a show on Netflix, along with people praising the series for how good it is. From there, sticking to my Star Wars kick I am on, I want to get the four trades of the Star Wars Darth Vader series. It's funny because I watched a video that basically tells all of what happens in the entire series, yet I still want to read it for myself. The last Star Wars one I want to get is the trade of Star Wars The Rise of Kylo Ren. Despite what anyone else thinks of Kylo Ren, I think he's cool, his lightsaber is awesome, and I want to read this series about him. So that's where I am at with comics. I have lots to read and lots I want to read. You think I should drop Avengers from my pull list? What books are you reading and what's on your list? That's all I have to say, so if you're out of the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening and goodbye.